All right. My name's Tim. I am a business development manager for Technetics, and I'm here with uh, Vincent Olszynski. Uh, he is a product specialist uh, for valves uh, in our European division. And so um, Victor and I were talking and we we're having a conversation that something that comes up pretty commonly with our customers is about, uh, particularly valve customers, is about uh, semi-dynamic sealing. And so how would, we, how would you define a semi-dynamic valve application? What does that mean to you? Uh, for us, is when you have a, a slow or short movement, uh, could be also repetitive. Uh, for example, on valve, uh, you have for the application for uh, plug valve, for ball valve, or for uh, triple set valve, for example, for the seat. And are there situations where maybe a design engineer should not consider using a metal seal inside a valve? Would there be a, um, conditions that are that are just not going to be um, conducive to using a metal seal? The metal seals cannot support a rotation. This is uh, absolutely uh, is is not easy. We can we can find solution to 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 tra to trans trans transform this movement for a frontal movement. So it's not it's not an issue. Also, uh, if an application have a rotation, we can we can solve it uh, easily uh, because a metal seal cannot have a rotation. And the second, the second thing is very important. Also, uh, a metal seal cannot support a wide or fast movement mm. to have a correct seals uh, quality. What do you think are key considerations that a design engineer um, who's designing a, a a valve should be thinking about um, in a semi-dynamic application? Uh, the the most important is uh, is, is to define uh, on the beginning the, the first step. Uh, concerning the pressure, temperature, and uh, uh, the media. So it's important to know the, the range of that, to, to, to know effectively if you are in cryogenic, uh, if maybe you, you can use on cryogenic and high temperature, or both could be. Uh, and this is the first step. The second step is more to describe exactly which are the movements uh, apply on the seals. So, displacement, uh, translation, uh, speed, and vibration uh, in, on, on the application. And so, what else would you like to share with us? We're, we're kind of reaching the end of our time here. What else do you have for us? Um, uh, for, for in Technetics, we develop uh, many solutions for, uh, for C-Dynamic. We, we have uh, developed uh, for puppet valve. We have developed for double offset valve for many, many years. And the last product we, we, we develop is for the triple offset valve uh, with a complete full metal seals with a high level of, uh, of leak, rate, leak rate. Well, thank you very much, uh, Vincent. I appreciate, uh, appreciate the conversation and um, look forward to talking to you more in the future. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.